He should have earlier. He, he definitely should have, but it is what it is. Yeah. You got to roll with the punches. You know, it's hard to feel bad. That's my day five Mario. It was looking pretty saucy. On Thursday, we were only able to take one game against them out of seven. Yeah. And then this was two game fives. So. Yeah, and you beat them in winner's finals. So, You know, two days made a big difference. Yeah. Regardless, though, really, he's not playing Snake? Yeah, so earlier he was going Snake, but I think it really just depends on who he's trying to play against. Because he sees the Mega Man, he sees the Snake Ditto, probably doesn't want to bring out the Snake. He'd rather offer, you know, Cloud. And he's been going Mario all day. I don't know why. I know a large amount of Snake players think they also lose the Inkling matchup, which would probably be by virtue of not being able to contest them effectively on the ground due to their low profiling and yep. speed. Yeah, also, you know, the consistency of, like, up throw up air, uh, really just detrimental. But I think that's more at the top level because Cosmos is, like, the only one that gets it efficiently. But that Scat or Navadongo. Yeah, that's true. That too. But, man, Scat was really putting in work with uh, Inkling, taking Sunito all the way down to just, you know, his Sonic. Every single time, every, both games. Yeah, it's funny to see uh, Cola playing Mario again because he actually played Mario a lot as a fringe counterpick character in Smash 4. Yeah. But I suppose he's brought him back because, one, he's a relatively easy character to pick up, and he covers a lot of really relevant matchups, including Pikachu and Pichu, who Cola has definitely had some issues with in the past, so oh, yeah. it's a logical pick. Mainly mainly e <laughs> like, Every time he has to play against e and Bracky, he's just like, nah. So maybe the Mario is the choice for him moving too. on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. Uh, but we'll see, and he is putting in work right now. The Inkling looking unstoppable against Sunito, but, you know, Cola just kind of quashing all that momentum that he had. And now kind of a favorable matchup, I want to say. I'm not sure how much it changed game to game, but I, I'm pretty sure Mario beat Mega Man in the last one. He did. I've actually talked to Scat a lot about this, and he thinks that if Mario plays perfectly, it's actually basically even. Okay. But the way that Cola plays not only Mario, but a lot of characters is... He's extremely fast tempo. He's Definitely. like always pressing buttons and committing to new options, but he's choosing good options. And it's like it's like calculate, it's, it, calculated it's, mashing. I was thinking of a better way of saying it, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's just how it is sometimes. I mean, it feels like you know pressing a lot of buttons, and it's good in this game. Like you know, why why do something that's bad when you can just do you know the best option possible? For sure, it's kind of similar to. Uh, how a lot of Bayos would land in Smash 4. They yeah. just have a million options and they just constantly use lots of different ones and make it really hard for you to guess. Exactly. All right, and now, you know, finding that Mario stock, but taking a lot of damage for it, and now the Cloud coming out with that newly buffed dash tag. Yeah, the, one of the main things that makes a big difference is at a lot of lower percents, he can get like combos into up smash and especially combos into a cross slash, and they're going to be a little more applicable now. Yeah. Plus, with a uh, a lot of like air dodge traps you can threaten with up smash. You can actually condition air dodges and then punish them with like finishing touch a lot more reliably than you could before. Dang. I've been seeing uh, Masashi doing that a lot from Japan, for oh, instance. Oh, yeah. You I don't see yep. much of him because for whatever reason, America kind of ignores Japan unless they come to an American major. Yeah, and then they like show up and then they, you know, then they're like, oh man, we want you. Surprise, but, like, they're else. really good. Yeah, all of Japan's really good. And you see the Japan players not placed well in it. But, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, sitting him down right there. Trying to find that, you know, final stock so he can get him on the Roy, but I don't know, this cloud looking nice. Oh man, great edge guard right there. I think he threw a grenade up because he was trying to make him not want to recover by hitting the, the ledge because then he would de flash with grenade. So he used the grenade as a way of making him want to do it earlier so that he could then intercept him. That makes sense. All right? Oh God. Yeah, you just make him not want to wait and then you punish him for not waiting. That's fair. But man, Cola, he was waiting for his opportunity right there and just kind of reacting. Yeah, a lot of the time, uh, Cola's, in his play, he's very reliant on a lot of frame traps and just reaction times. Definitely. That's definitely the cornerstone of his gameplay. Like, obviously, he makes lots of good reads, but more than anything, he just wants to put you in bad situations mathematically and then just be like, your options are bad here and I'm going to ma oppress you. Yep. I mean, he's been doing that game to game and uh, with all of his characters, really, in this game. It's just it actually, it kind of reminds me of, like, younger Mewtwo King and, like... Yeah, in Melee, just with Marth and... Or even Tweak in this game. That's fair. More specifically, Tweak in the last game. I feel like he's he's changed more in this game. A little bit. Probably because he doesn't have characters that he's, I don't know, vibes with the same way. 
I guess. I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of, you know, Bayo, he's like, pretty public about the fact that he had, he's like, eh. Yeah, he definitely has a character characters. crisis in this game as opposed to the last game, but which is know, pretty unfortunate. But yeah, but he still plays really well regardless. And uh, yeah, Cola, trying to get get to that level for sure. You have to imagine that he plays better if he had a character that he just clicked with like that, though. Yeah, definitely. But I think that's just the nature of this game. So many characters, so many different matchups. Like no one character is just gonna like. Hard cover every single matchup. We're gonna sure. lose something at the top level. Wait, is that a Lucina pick from Scat? Really? Wow, that's really interesting. Wait, is that that Snake? Okay, that's not Ryu. It kind of looks like Ryu, but that that's also Cloud. This is Cloud from Snake, or uh, from uh, Scat. That is. Yeah, he's not playing Mega Man, which is interesting. That's surprising. Maybe he, he just has no faith. Or funnily enough, uh, Cloud actually even pre-patch. Most clouds generally agreed that they beat Mega Man on paper, and then of course, if he's even better now, it follows that would, at bare minimum, be the same. <laughs> That's fair. And then you have Mario, who his particular Cola's particular way of playing Mario might be more annoying for him because he's probably le more used to like Mario's that are sit back like Wizzy. Yeah. And then Cola's just in your face and pressing lots of buttons. So many buttons. And they're very safe buttons. And he can press a lot of them in very quick amounts of time due to Mario's incredible frame data. For sure. And Mario, especially on this stage, really dangerous. You can see those platform extensions he's getting, and he was getting them on everybody. And Scat is not going to be uh, excluded from that. But the Lucina pick, really interesting. Kind of, you know, does well against all of uh, Cola's character choices. You know, not having the snake on his arsenal is, is going to make Lucina pretty viable That's for That's the snake. beauty for on paper, for the Swiss Army Knife character. Yeah, definitely. She's definitely the most Swiss Army Knife top tier. For sure. I mean, you know, you, you need a counter pick for, you know, some rats or, you know, whatever. Yeah, just big Lucina. And putting in a little bit of work, but man, the Mario is just so great for Cola right now. Looks like right now, Scat's just playing to focus on trying to get him off stage as much as possible. His best opportunities for really evening this up is if he can just get a quick kill now. He doesn't really want to play with leverage because the only one with that is Cola, who has a pretty solid lead right now. Definitely. He's gotten far too much extra credit for that to be a good strategy. Yeah, but I mean, as you said before, the lead might be diminished right here. Oh, and getting hit by that Nikita just barely. Getting sent off the side, too. This matchup's probably fairly even, if I had to guess. It might be yeah. a little more volatile for Snake now that Cloud's kill setups are a little more reliable. Yeah. But I have to imagine that if he's smart with his spacing and he can really get a better base for Nikita, mm -hmm. he can really bring this back. He the could. only problem is <laughs> limits on deck right now. The guessing game. Yeah, when is he going to let it loose? And there you go. At 139, he is not living that for sure. Yeah, that's the thing about when uh, Cloud gets limited high percents, it turns in, it's absolutely a guessing game because they can just pull the trigger and you can realistically die yeah. at any single moment. And it's pretty safe too. So it's definitely pretty scary to play around. And you pair that with Cola's reaction time, you know, reading your options and just looking for where you want to escape to, and he's going to be in your face all the time. Oh, you press the button, reaction. Yep, there and you then go. you get cross slashed. And that's kind of what happened to Sky. You know, he just got caught, and uh, now he's going to go into a game three situation where he's down 0-2. Um, you know, best of five. Definitely could bring this back. You know, he wasn't playing awful. It, was, it wasn't like a wash. And I think the Lucina choice is actually really important for him. Maybe if he opts, I he wanna, decided to go back. That's interesting. I want to. I want to say he should offer Mega Man instead of Cloud, because Cloud kind of just like, you know, doesn't. See, it doesn't seem like a waste of character, but you know, I think Cole is pretty experienced against against the character. Yeah, just, just knowing what Cloud wants to do in general. That's just a general hallmark of anyone who mains a character. Yeah. But mained him through all of Smash Four, and then he mained him for a lot of this game, and then. Hyper, Hyper is giving him a hard enough time. Oh no! To where he then decided to pick up Roy himself. Yeah, and it, it worked. And ever since he's been a Roy man. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You can't Roy, beat him, join him. Roy really is just like better, better Cloud. You know, it's like close to Smash Four Cloud than Cloud is. He's better Falcon too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. So already, you know, losing that stock. Oh God. Oh Jesus. It's not stopping. Oh, trying to use a platform, you know, mix up, but he didn't really need to fall through. You know, you're not going to have that much lag if you just land on the top platform, which you can. All right. Stuck at the ledge right now. And two matchups that are generally considered pretty, like, bad for Mario, or at least not that great. You know, Cole is making it work. You know, Cloud and Lucina should do pretty well. I have to wonder if maybe Scott's character picks were specifically to slow down the Mario because 
he's having a harder time with it than he seems to have expected. Yeah. And what's funny is I believe he, he has a winning record on Dark Wizzy. And really? he beats like a, a bunch of other Marios. But then Cola's Mario. Cola is just, he's just a monster. I think Cola is also just really, really good against Georgia in particular. Yeah. He has everyone like semi downloaded in a way. But oh my god, I almost killed. That Funnily enough, I actually uh, almost beat him at 404 going all Ganon. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's funny because I went Falcon, and I was like, maybe it's not that bad of a matchup for Falcon, but he's, uh... Yeah, it didn't look too great. It's gone to... His uh, his play of that matchup has gone to a point where I don't know what to do, yeah. and I kind of just get bodied, so I went Ganon. That's fair. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And that's kind of like Scott's mindset in this, is like, I don't know what to do against Mario. I'm going to just choose the best option for me, and, you know, Cola losing the stock, you know, just dying for being too low. And Scott gonna take advantage of that up throw. Oh man, not quite. Not sure how tall Battlefield's uh, top last ones are. I know Town's the tallest, but I guess, you know. Scott's probably gonna try and wait out a lot of this limit. Yeah. And then if I were him, I would, oh, I was expecting him to pull the trigger like sometime in pretty soon. But he pulled it even sooner than I expected. Yeah, and the other way too, it, like, it didn't even matter. <gasps> he didn't really need to do that. Like, he should have just kept it, just, you know. Let it let it ride out. Oh man, trying to get that upper in a fair, not gonna quite get it, and just lead shopping him with Cloud. Scat really has nowhere to go, but that fast ear dodge to the ground, so effective for him. Here we go. Oh man, and Scat opting to put himself off stage. <sighs> Jesus, almost catching him with that limit blade beam. All right, so it's not looking too great for uh, Scat right now on the winner's side. He might fall into losers. <laughs> oh, God. So that's the, th that's the thing about Cola. He tends to get uh, particularly ignorant with his options when yeah. he's up a stock. <laughs> he likes to play like like, this. He likes to play with his food, but then he's also like, I want to style. <laughs> oh, wow. That was actually really nice for Scat. Yeah, he oh. That, 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 C4 placing is actually really, really good. Uh-oh, and this isn't good. Oh, if that grenade somehow exploded, he could have got like a fair or you know, something. Barely hanging on, and now this is a really close game. Yeah, that's it. And that's going to be it. You know, Scott was trying to take advantage of Cola being an absolute idiot, to be honest. You know, <laughs> going for that dare, not even close to Scott while he was recovering from Cypher. <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter. He's going to win 3-0 and uh, advance on to Grand Finals.